first step in the evaluation is to decide whether the particular aneurysm needs treatment or not, and that is mostly dependent on the size of the aneurysm. Then we go into the evaluation of the additional health problems of the patients, and that is typically related mostly to the heart, lungs, kidney function, and a variety of other issues that can affect the treatment. And then we sit down with the patient and discuss all the options that will be available to them, whether it's further observation or surgical treatment or an endovascular option with a stent graft, whether it's fenestrated or not. A stent graft is a device that, is, uh, that has two components. One is the material or the fabric that does not allow the blood to go through and a stent, which is a metallic component that supports it. And it is collapsed over a tube and introduced from the arteries in the groin and navigated all the way up to where the aneurysm is. And it is deployed above and below the aneurysm to completely divert the blood into this stent graft and away from the aneurysm. And this way, it will prevent the aneurysm from rupturing and causing the problems of uh, the bleeding that can happen when the aneurysm ruptures. So patients who have an aneurysm that is close to essential arteries like the arteries of the kidneys normally cannot have a standard stent graft because we would then shut down the blood that is going to the kidneys. But more recently, uh, we have now access to a device that we have tested for the last several years that have fenestrations or windows into those grafts that is manufactured, custom made for each patient to allow the blood to flow into the arteries of those kidneys. So now we have a method by which we can extend the stent graft treatment modality for aneurysms to patients who could not have it as recently as a few months ago. The recovery time of the stent graft is significantly shortened when you compare it to open surgery. With open surgery, the patient would typically stay in the hospital anywhere from five to seven days and take about six to eight weeks to go back to normal. With a stent graft, most patients go home the next day and they're typically back to their normal activities within a week. Well, at UPMC, we have been involved with stent graft technology since an infancy. Uh, we placed the first stent graft in Pennsylvania in February of 1996, and we have been involved in extending this technology to the chest and the variety of other animals all over the body. In addition, the implantation of these devices requires a very long follow-up that we take very seriously, and we have a very thorough follow-up for all the patients that we treat.